Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, welcome back. Y'all already know for what. We can really get into a quick little video. Now y'all, I don't know what has gotten into Jazz the man. Alright, I don't know what has gotten into her, but I've seen her come onto her platform and act an entirely mess. A hot mess. I mean, a fool. I mean, just absolutely ridiculous. Jasmine decided to blow her complete top off of her head. Now, Jasmine, the thing about you is when you decide to do these things, no one takes you serious at all. You look like a complete fool every single time that you try to do it. And the reason why you look like that, Jasmine, is because we watch you. We know you. We know your steps. Okay? We are intertwined with you. All right. But at this point, Jasmine, I am wondering... The things that you do and the things that you say, you know exactly what you are doing. Again, you come onto your platform and you make Chris look like a total, complete nit kaboom. That's exactly what you make him look like. You make him look like a less of a man. Anytime you have to explain something and say something about him. Now, Jasmine, I could care less. Okay, if you are paying Chris, I could care less. But I heard through the grapevine, all right, from my homie King, he said that, you know what, you literally paid Chris to the fur to participate into that whole um, graduation ensemble that was going on. I'm not even going by. I have no idea why Chris to the fur was there. Um, I seen him there. He, 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 you know, made his appearance. He had on some new shoes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. But what I am going to say was when you were at that graduation, uh-huh, because Chris didn't take you to his children graduation, Chris would have been out doing what he do best. And that is what? Hoeing around, probably doing Instacart, probably doing Lyft, and probably doing Uber. Yeah, I would have left that up to him. But needless to say, you wanted to make this picture perfect uh, situation on camera, whereas though you had Chris there and you had Philip there. Now, Philip, I'm going to get on to you later, a little bit later. I'm going to dedicate a whole video to you because it's no way in the world that there is a male that is connected to these children that are their father. And they are just as stupid and senile as Jasmine is. Now, Philip, I don't know if you know, but my savvy life have you over there too, the way that you were talking to your children, the way that you were reprimanding them. Yeah, they have you over there as well. So I am going to say to you, Philip, it does not look good whatsoever. You look just like a piss poor parent, just as much as Jasmine does. That's why when you come over there on your uh, 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 what is it that you have over there on that platform, that jailhouse rock over there that you got? That's the reason why you say that you're not talking about Jasmine. Of course you're not talking about Jasmine. Because you know what, Philip, You don't want the kids either. You don't want them kids just as much as Jasmine don't want them kids. Uh-huh. Please believe me. Y'all already seen it. Y'all seen it. He don't want them kids. Everything you try to tell him about Jasmine that is actually recorded, all right, on YouTube, and it is actual proof. He, I'm not going to talk about any of my baby mamas. I'm not going to talk about any of my baby mamas that... Y'all not going to get me to do that. Why do y'all keep calling Chris Hibbs? That's not his name. His name is Chris. Man, go sit yourself down somewhere. Get him back on you, Jasmine. Now, Jasmine, the way that you bring them kids out of that house, 
this is why you are being dragged in this particular video right now. Okay, you brought Kaylin out of the house, all right, looking like she looked. You mean to tell me that you couldn't put no Vaseline, no cocoa butter, no lotion, no nothing, no baby oil on to her knees, her skin? You mean to tell me that you couldn't do that? You are one lazy turn. That's what you are. You are one lazy pern. And I'm going to tell you like this, Jasmine, and I'm not cutting no circles. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to do anything. You do not need the kids that you have. So then you go on to say that you weren't coming on here begging and da 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 You said you weren't coming on here begging on December the 6th, but you were. Then you proceeded to go in the bathroom and sit on the floor and say, oh, well, I wasn't asking y'all for no money. I just wanted prayer. Girl, go sit yourself down. Go to sleep. Put your comforter on. Wrap it around your head and try again. Jasmine, I ain't even said nothing to you. I haven't even dug in you real deep, but baby, it's about to happen. That little boy's head is fucking ridiculous. It should be no reason at all that his head looks like a cheese wedge. Mm -hmm. You know how when you get the cheese and you get it cut and it's like a triangle? That is exactly how that baby head looks. And that comes from you. You are disgusting. Thing. I don't care what you try to say that you're not. I don't care if you get onto your platform and you try to go on and on and on and on about being depressed. So before I go ahead and I get into the rest of this video, any of y'all who are over here and y'all get ready to be on some BS and y'all get ready to take up for Jasmine, I'm telling you right now, go ahead and exit out of this actual video. That baby has no range of motions. And you don't know what that means. I already know you don't. But the baby can hardly even turn his head because that is your like of being a parent. That is your like of rotating him. That is your like of putting him on his back and on his stomach for tummy time and back time. His head is atrocious. His head is ridiculous. His head is just so sad because basically it is you not being compliant with the things that you are supposed to do with an infant. Instead, what you are doing is you are laying in that twin bed that you got over there and wiping your snot with your wrist and most likely wiping it onto the pillowcase. And that's the reason why your face breaks out as well. You better get that baby a helmet. And I mean, you better get that baby a helmet. You're, and, and you're talking about, oh, Ava's head was shaped like that too. Yes, and it's still shaped like that. So instead of getting him a helmet, the only one, get Ava a helmet as well. Get her a helmet. Get yourself a helmet. If you can't afford to get that baby a helmet, girl. You already, like I've told the YouTube streets, you get two checks for the twins. So therefore, anything that the twins want, I don't care if they want to eat out at McDonald's every single day because you don't cook for them. They can because you get a check that is for them. That check is going to the rest of your kids. That check is going over there to hips to pay that Bradley uh, pickup truck that he'd have bought and he ain't even moving nothing. Why did he even buy a pickup truck? Why did you even settle for that? Why did you even um, participate in that? Why? Then you over here, you talking about, oh, I don't want nobody talking about my kids. Jasmine, it was okay when you talked about Asia kids. It was okay when your piss poor drunk mother talked about Asia kids. And you want to come up on here talking about nobody's going to be talking about your kid. You need to go somewhere and you need to get yourself together. Because you, I am not saying that I'm not lying. You are a piece a piece of S-H-I-T when it comes to a parent. That's exactly what you are. Who goes to Sephora and meets the person right away and then the next week have them in there watching her kids? You. 
stupid. You're ridiculous. And you try to come on here saying something to a reactor, girl, go sit yourself down and change your dish water, clean the vents off and everything, spray for the bed bugs and roaches that you done bought over there, go and clean the um, twins room out, take them LED lights out, that's what you do. You have a nerve, okay? It is God's grace that you still have your kids. It is God's grace. See, Jasmine, what it is, is I know the real, real. All right. See, the thing is, you never know who a person knows. But I know the real, real. And you coming up on this platform acting like you are happy, you already know what is going down in your actual home. You know, you know damn well that Chris to the fur is not there. Uh-huh. See, that's the thing. You come on here and you keep saying that you depressed and all of that and everything. So if that's the case, Jasmine, what are you exactly depressed about? You have all the kids that you want. Mm -hmm. You're able to pay your bills with all the lying and, and you know, all the uh, uh, roof rack that you do on actual YouTube. Uh-huh. Exporting your kids. What are you depressed for? Are you depressed because you sent your children to school to a graduation with some hot boots on? And then what makes it so sad is the child didn't even have the boots on the correct foot. You don't see nothing wrong with that? You really think that you are a super mom? I don't understand it, Jasmine. I don't understand it at all. I am believing at this point, the stuff that you put onto your platform, you're doing it because you want the views. You're doing it because the reactors are going to react to it and lay your soul to rest like I am doing right now. That's why you do it. You over there, you overfeeding the baby that you have right now. It's either two ways with you. You don't feed the child or you overfeed. You're, uh, you are overfeeding that baby. That's what you're doing. Overfeeding that baby, okay? And then what your stupid behind goes and says, well, oh, he's a heavier baby. It's gonna take longer for him to walk. Jasmine, do you know how stupid you sound? Do you know? I don't understand why your pediatrician ain't telling you how stupid that you sound. Babies that have that flat head syndrome, like you have made your child have, absolutely, this comes from you. You're disgusting. You had about four baby bottles in the crib, and, and that comes from you. What are you doing? You are stacking the baby bottles up in his mouth, so therefore you don't have to hold him and feed him the baby bottle. How much more of a piss parent can you be? You don't even want to hold the baby bottle for the damn baby. So we definitely understand why the baby's head looks the way that it looks. It's flat. Those jean shorts that you had on at your children's graduation, you see how flat your ASS looked in those jeans, shorts, that's how his head looks. It's embarrassing, totally embarrassing. And you put him right front row on the camera. Stop putting him on front row of the camera when his head is messed up. Stop putting them twins on the camera, front row. Please stop putting them on there. I don't know no other way to say it. If your child, your baby boy, was to be burnt by a cigarette. All right, if he was bit by a bee, he wouldn't even do anything. He don't even have no facial expressions. That don't tell you something? You keep him in that chair. What somebody needs to do to you is, they need to put you into your computer chair and make you sit there for 24 hours and feed you bottle after bottle after bottle after bottle after baby food, baby food, baby food, and see how much you can turn your head. See how much your behind hurts. You're ridiculous. I'ma see y'all in the next video, cause yeah y'all, later.